Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Katie Van Valen. She's with the University of Kentucky's Beef Extension Specialist there. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Katie, sometimes it's hard for us to wrap our head around winter feeding when it's still kind of warm outside and we're thinking about fall, but now is the time to really start thinking about that. Absolutely. You know, winter feeding will be here before we know it, especially if we end up with a dry fall. It can really kind of creep up on us and we can run out of that fresh forage base for our cattle, you know, earlier than we might anticipate. Uh, so it's always good to kind of plan ahead and know what options are available for you on your operation. And you know, if I, uh, we had a great hay season in South Central Kentucky, and if I didn't get that hay tested then, is it still okay to get maybe get it tested now so that I know what forage I have available to me? Yes, absolutely. You know, it's actually better to get that hay tested closer to when you're going to feed it. Um, you know, especially as you store it in different conditions, um, you can have some nutritional loss depending on how it's stored. And so getting it tested as close to the time that you're gonna need to feed it is best. But, uh, you know, we always say any hay test is better than no hay test. Absolutely. And you guys have a tool that livestock producers can use to kind of gauge maybe you know, how good a quality that hay is, then to kind of meet what nutrients that animal might need? Yeah, so we have the UK forage supplement tool. And what that does, it's designed to be used with, um, with a dry hay test result. And so you'll get those results back and you're gonna need the dry matter, crude protein, TDN or total digestible nutrients, and NDF or neutral detergent fiber values. And you'll just go in and you'll type in what those values are. Uh, make sure that you're doing those on a dry matter basis. Your test result will give it to you on an as fed or in a dry matter basis. So you use dry matter results, type those in, and then you um, actually type in or select what stage of production your cows are in. So either mid gestation, late gestation, or lactation. And then it's got a whole list of different commodity supplements. And so you can either select all of them if you want to see what all of the um, supplementation recommendations are, or if you know that you only want to feed dried distillers and soy holes because that's what you have on hand, you can select those. And then you just click a button and it calculates everything for you. Um, so it will tell you which supplements and how much to feed. Um, we also have some safety measures in there. So if it's going to tell you to feed way more corn than what we would normally recommend, it'll not give you a value for corn, for example. Um, so all of that is really valuable information that it it's, spits out for our producers to utilize. Absolutely. And, and a lot of times our livestock's kind of like us. We're all not the same. And, and so we still probably need to take some visual evaluation of where our animals are. Yeah. So the tool is... Um, making some assumptions based on cow size and, and that sort of thing. And we know too that weather can impact the energy requirements of our cattle. So when it gets really cold and windy and muddy, our, the energy requirements of our cattle are gonna go up and the calculator can't always take all that into account. So I always recommend that producers are keeping an eye on body condition score of their cattle. And so we want those cattle to be around a body condition score five or six. So if you notice that they're getting a little heavy in their condition, starting to push a body condition score seven, then you might back down what you're supplementing. On the flip side, if they're getting a little thin, they're starting to encroach on that body condition score four, then we need to increase the supplement that we're giving. So again, there's some limitations with the calculator, but for mature cows, it definitely gives you a great place to start. Absolutely. And it kind of helps you calculate all those calculations without having to sit down with a pencil and a piece of paper and try to figure it all out yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So great information. And we have tons of resources available at the university about winter feeding and body condition scoring, nutrient requirements, all that. Yep. Absolutely. There's lots of information out there and, um, you know, a, a information on stockpiling forages. If that's the winter feeding option that you want to utilize on your operations. So no matter what it is that you're, you're planning on doing, we've got resources out there to help you. All right. Thanks, Katie, for visiting with us today. And we appreciate you watching. Have a great day.